Green Fitness Goddess and today we're going to be making a soup. It's a potato zucchini soup but it's creamless. So this is good for the waistline. We're making it from all organic ingredients. Oh, I got my organic tank top on. I love this tank top. It makes me feel good every time I wear it. So before we get started, I just wanted to talk to you because this is a great soup to pair with a salad for lunch or dinner. But I also wanted to tell you that, you know, you don't have to have protein at every meal. If you skip a meal here and there, it really is okay. Your muscles are not going to fall off and run away. So just keep that in mind. I'm trying to show you healthy recipes that are quick, easy, simple. You can serve to your family. They're healthy and they're made from all natural ingredients. As, okay, as organic as we can get is always best. We all know that. Um, so with that, I'm going to start unpacking and show you what we got. We have two of these. These are organic, free range, low sodium chicken broth. So you're gonna need two of those, which equals about eight cups. I have some thyme, this is organic thyme, um, some olive oil, and organic onion here. Here, I'll put them all here. Hopefully you can all see that. Uh, four zucchini. There they are, nice and green. And this is a good way to get zucchini into you. If you um, if you don't like it, trust me, try this. I'm gonna make it with sweet potato today. You can make it with regular potatoes. So either way, it's gonna come out really great. So we'll put those there. All right, oh, forgot one thing, garlic. You gotta have garlic, give it some flavor. And that's one thing I wanna talk about. When you're cooking and you're cooking healthy, Use your spices, use the onions, give everything flavor. Sometimes I know a lot of people are eating those um, five to six meals a day and they're eating the same thing day after day. They're bland, they're boring. What if I told you you could spice your things up, make them a little bit more interesting? Easy way to do it and I'm gonna be showing you how. Um, so let's get cooking. All right. I chopped the onions with my Vidalia chop wizard. Now I am peeling, and then you just take the potatoes, cut them into cubes, back here, and the onions brown. Just till they get golden, we'll add the minced garlic in there. Then we're going to add the broth and the potatoes. Okay, I thought I'd show you, if you don't know what the Medallia Chop Wizard is, this is it. No, I don't sell them. No, I don't promote them. I just use it. You can get it at any of the stores. You just put the onion right in there and cut. It cuts. It's amazing. It makes everything easier. I want to show you, I have this garlic press. I don't even have to chop the garlic. I've got two cloves of garlic. I'm going to shoot it boop, right in there. You just take that out. And you're done. Easy. There we are. We got the onions on the stove cooking. To make cleanup easier and so you don't clog your sink or garbage disposal, um, I always put a bowl in the sink and put all my peels in there. Easy cleanup. Oh, there are my dogs. Okay, now we're going to add in those eight cups of the broth. All right, put one in there. So here's the other one. Got that bowl of sweet potatoes. Carefully dump them all in. A mess over here. And then it's like one teaspoon of the thyme, 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 whatever. Dump it in. Okay, now we're going to cook that until the potatoes um, are kind of soft. Probably about 15, 10, 15, you know, poke them with a fork and see how they are. And then after that, we'll add in the zucchini all peeled and chopped. And then I'll show you what to do. I think I need to put this in a bigger pot though. 
Okay, so that's been cooking for about 10-15 minutes. Now we're going to throw in all the zucchini. You can see they're just cut into little like one inch circles. We're going to put that in there. I'm going to set my timer because I always forget and walk away. Alright everyone, we are just about finished. Here is the soup. It's been cooked probably for a good 30 minutes all together. It's all chunky. Two things you can do. I have a Blendtec blender. I pour it in and I blend it up. Or if you have one of those immersion blenders, you can just keep it right in the pot. It'll come out beautiful. And watch this. Look how beautiful this soup is. Full of nutrition. Very low sodium. It's just free. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's just good, okay? So here, I'm gonna try it for you. That's delicious. I know you're gonna love this. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, everyone, time to eat, let's go. Bye-bye. I just wanted to tell you where the inspiration for this soup came from. My mom and I were grocery shopping in the store and there was this beautiful French lady and she had her uh, cart filled up with all these vegetables, zucchini and potatoes. So my mom asked her, what are you making? We just had to find out. So she was making this soup. She made it with the white potatoes. We made it today with the sweet potatoes. Both are great. So I know you're going to enjoy it. Let me know when you make it and how much you love it. Thanks. And thank you to the French lady in the grocery store for inspiring this wonderful soup. Merci.